what is up YouTube what's going on this is your boy Ligo one half and duo and basically if you guys are watching this hopefully it did upload while I'm flying but I, this is brought to you by Magix of course S Sequoia 13 thank you you can put stuff on your phone if you edit video but anyway I want to be honest about my NX stuff basically the switches everybody learn about it so I'm gonna give you my impressions and how I feel about certain things so with that said let's you know just enjoy the video and let's see what I could get out while I'm in the wild basically there gonna be some background noise as well from playing cuz I couldn't it's hard to send things I was trying to do it and it didn't work out the way I wanted so you can still hear some noise speed when I'm flying I, I could squeeze out some of the sound to be sound nice I think at the beginning I did but at the end it just got a little you know get hit background noise anyway stop rambling here we go <laughs> and it's cool that it's first of all just like like listen to me while I'm recording my phone <laughs> anyway check this out so the switch now I'm gonna be honest with anybody out there to, to 100% I'm gonna tell you what it is now I, could, I, I, I was trying to find a clip and I do have that clip oh and I shout out to Doc to feel good Anderson Doc goes I think it was the, the random talk by myself whatever when I talked about the hybrid if it was a hybrid this is what Nintendo would have done and basically I was mostly correct I'm not fully correct because in the video, I didn't you know. I don't know what the chipset was. Excuse me. I didn't know what it, um, the tech was going to really be and all that stuff. But you know what? Then, um, and I had cracked the joke, but it's the Nvidia Integra. Okay. Whoopee. I'm happy. Still, you don't get enough of the specs, but people want to know. But they got people out there. I already saw videos of people having negative. Quotations in the video. I, I'm not watching the Arkansas Live because I don't want to trouble. But I have to say this is killing me. Everybody is in the hyper mode, the love mode right now. Oh, this is awesome. This is great. This is good. The Nintendo Switch. Basically, the Switch to me is a Wii U. To me, just a more powerful Wii U there. I love the Switch that you can use control and you could take it off the hybrid part like everybody thought about that you could go anywhere and do what you need to do now I'll tell you right now the battery life is what people need to know about we don't know what's gonna be wrong with the battery life two I have to say that it's cool it could go any place as, as they were saying I'm thinking though it's gonna it's gonna be dependent more on, on the internet something I'm against but I have not fully seen what it's all about so let's see what happens I know it's gonna be more fully um, dependent on the internet um, the NX switch is basically for older people like teenagers and up Nintendo's trying to go for that higher demographics and say oh well you know what we're gonna you know this for the grown-ups and everything I'm a growing up who's playing fun games. I don't care for that stuff, me personally. But if that's the that's the the trend to get people into buying it, okay. Because the thing about it is, I didn't see no. I don't think they have motion control. They might have gyro, but I don't see no motion control. We don't know about the backwards capability with controllers because it's gonna be a kind of crazy. I would love to see them have it. But we'll, I, I can't be a, a different thing on that because I don't know. Um, what else I'll say? It was, um, first of all, like I said, it's cool. You put the dock, you have the dock, you pull it up, you can, you can do the screen. That's pretty awesome. I like it. It's, 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 it's not bad. It's not bad, really. It's, it's, it's good. I like I said, I have a couple of gripes I'm gonna talk about, but I'm gonna go piece by piece. So the Nintendo Switch, like I say, is going for all the demographic for these guys because that's that screen and that stuff. Little kids ain't gonna take care of that, so I understand that. Let's see how it works. If that will be the case, that means that the price point is gonna be a little high. A lot of people 
people ain't gonna like that. So you, there are gonna be one piece of people who's gonna be moaning about that. So we got that, and then we gonna have um, like I said, name switch. It's a good and a bad. It's a switch. The name not really pulls to me. I really don't, it, it, you know, like the Wii U, it's, 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 it's generic and blah. It's basically it's Nintendo style of doing things. But I like it because it people can't get it mixed up no more. Wii, Wii U, no. It's Switch. So, it's the Switch. Something different. I need a Nintendo Switch. People understand what that is. It's going to be a new something from Nintendo. So, they understand that in that regard. So the confusion won't be there. That's cool. All right, confusion won't be there. Next, like I said, one of the other things will be the battery of life. We, I would need to see. I will hope he has a good battery life. We'll see how that comes out. It's pushing the graphics, but not the um. Yeah, that, that, that is the MD-11, that's, um, I used to work at that place down in the airport. <laughs> uh, anyway, sorry about that. Um, yeah, so... What I was gonna say, sorry, the, the kid beside me turned me out, got me mixed up. Oh yeah, okay, now I remember now. Yeah, so... The price point is gonna be high, as I said again. The, the screen, we don't. I don't know if it's be touch screen. I mostly guess that the Amiibo will be something inside the screen, kind of like the 3DS. You put it on the screen, it works. Or they might have an NFC chip Re oh. reader close by. Or they might use a dongle from the 3DS. That could be it. Also, a, 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 a possibility. But I mostly think the screen will be uh, be it. That's my first guess. Now. Let's get back to this. I'm trying to do this one take, one shot. Um, so, another thing I think that's going to be uh, this. This I'll get, I'll get off the top of the head. I don't like the D-pad. Hated it on PlayStation. Don't like it the D-pad. They split the D-pad. I can't believe Nintendo did that. But they did. Done. Really, um, give me a second here. You know what? That is a pretty sunset. Pick it up hard. Awesome. I like flying like sunset times because you know what when you like when you get above the clouds you get to see a certain glimpse of, of the world that you've never seen like when I'm coming back from the island and I'm coming back here at the nighttime you see like this when it's, when it's turning like night you see like the sun makes this weird um not weird but awesome effect with the clouds and then you see like you see a little bit of blue and then you see the pitch black and some of the black with the stars and then you see a little bit of the earth below it's, it's kind of unique but then anyway yeah uh, let me get back to what i'm talking about so but that does look good anyway so let's get into the point i was talking about so um the d-pad i can't believe they switched it i don't like it and I think Nintendo, you bastards, you basically gonna force people like me to go buy the pro, the new Pro Controller. 
dang damn it. Well, I bought the Pro Controller for the Wii U. I like it. And of course the Pro Controller, as we talked, has the D-pad. And because of you, you Xbox people who've been bitching and moaning, you guys got, there you go. Let's see if y'all gonna buy it. It has the switch to analog sticks if you love the Xbox now. I wish they could. I wonder if they could use the blue port back to use the Wii U control, the Wii U Pro Controller. I would like that Nintendo if you do that. I love the Wii U Pro Controller, the two analogs up there. But again, that's me. I wish you had, I wish it's an option. But if I have to buy it and use that analog that way, then okay, I'll do it. So there's a nod to people who want to play the games that way. You want a controller like the Xbox? So the Xbox a little different. That's their, that's their own economics to make it feel. So I hope it feels comfortable. But now you know for sure. Nintendo you know for sure. Um, now I gotta go get that controller. Can't say that. And then second. Okay it's for adults. Those small little controllers. Okay. I don't have large hands. I'm not a fat guy like Richard Review Tech. I'm not a fatty fat fatty. But I, I don't like that cramp in control. I have to say, my hands got used to the regular 3DS when it first came out because that's what I wanted to get at first. It's not all we could have got at the time. But I've got super used to now the 3DS XL that I don't like going back to the small one. See how that cut? Is that a second? Token is going on right now. Basically, what happens is when you go through the cloud, yeah, when you go through the cloud, the, that's when you got turbulence because you ain't got no lift, low pressure. But I like how that's so um, Anyway, um, so see now the sun's coming out now, and it's bright. Anyway, back into the into what we talk about. So, you gonna get me to buy this pro controller now? Eh, it is what it is. All right, buy the select. Going back to that little the little things. Uh, I think a lot of people are gonna be like, you know, girls might pick it up and stuff. Some guys with some small hands, but those little things to the side so you can play multiplayer and everything. No, and it's kind of funny. No, everybody wanted all, all, always on, uh, wanted online co-op. Now they're like, oh man, I've seen people, oh that's so cool. Now they got, are you kidding me? Really? Really, that's so crazy. But whatever, it's what it is. It is what it is. Now, I have to say, this will be also pretty awesome, pretty crazy. Everybody now is like, oh yeah, good, Nintendo's doing this. Oh, look at that. I see Skyrim. Oh, I see Skyrim. I see this game and that game. Remember back in E3, Nintendo said certain games were going to come to the Wii U and also they have demos of it? Uh, it didn't happen. Also, there were some demos of some Nintendo games. We know Zelda that time and something thing to Mario. That didn't happen. See now that you open the clouds now, see how cool it is. Yeah, I'm basically if you if you seeing this, I'm pausing for when I'm when I'm hitting the thing for the uh, for the noise so the announcement you can do stuff. And I'm, t- I'm catching back over it's so you don't hit that much noise because that part I hear you can't take out of the phone. So I'm skipping the end of the video. But the audio I'm taking separated and then I'm put it over this. I love this software, magic I mean, I'm telling you, it's speak out loud, but damn it been work. It does music and everything to get music, video, everything together. Pretty awesome. Anyway. So about that now. What was I gonna say? Oh yes, I was gonna repeat about like um, the demos. Everybody seen the Mario Kart. Oh, that's King Boo and his two items and all that stuff. That's pretty. Oh man, let me that Mario Kart Nine. I think it's Mario Kart 8. Okay, let me put it this way. Hey, Nintendo fans, when you know you guys were bitching about, oh, it's a remaster, remaster, remaster. 
There are gonna be some remasters coming to the to the to the switch. Okay, just is. The, the, what, what's happening is the backwards capability is not is not gonna be like the usual backwards capability. It's gonna be more Xbox style. Of, it's gonna connect to your your my Nintendo or your ID. You could download the game back from you could download the game and have it on your account to play for you or to your account to play on the on the Nintendo Switch. But for people, there's a market out there who never play these games. They're gonna be remastered games. They're gonna be like, so keep an eye out for a Mario, a Smash Brothers, a Zelda, Hyrule, a Hyrule Warriors. Uh, just they're gonna be coming. So there's gonna be some remastered games coming out for this console. So just just, just keep an eye out for that. Trust me. So so. We know that's gonna happen because we have such a great library. Nintendo's not stupid enough to say, "Ah, oh, let's let that go." No, they're gonna remaster it for people who never play the game. It's gonna happen. So that's how the and that's how the backwards capability is gonna work out. They're gonna work. They're gonna do it digitally through that way of you having your ID and everything. And they know that you bought the game and it's on your system, and you could basically they give you a free code for it or free download of the game. You have it. Saves could be changed up to it, or there's gonna be a new version of the game, and you play it, and then that's what it's gonna be. Okay. Next thing. That's the, uh, that's at the top of my mind. Um. Hopefully, the thing is um, durable. Now, when I play with the gamepad mini that they had in, 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 um, in Nintendo when I was in Japan, that one had felt construction felt really good. Now that it's more slip, slip, whatever, and get these adults, they gotta take care of more. I hope you guys, you adults, you should be able to take care of your dang on equipment very well. But if not in that regard, I hope that it's easy the connection is, is super solid there's no really major problems because this is a new technology of separating everything out more than usual so i hope there's no problem with that now we saw that it had cartridge base now me and doc and i said i'll tell us that we just we talked about this in an archive chat you see what i'm talking about right there like you see how the sun is doing it like you see the darkness then you see the blue It's like, that's the stuff I like to see at night when I'm flying. That is so awesome. We're about, let me see. We're about 32,000 feet in the sky. So yeah, you see that the clouds are below. You see the lightness of the, of, the, um, of the orange, of the sun, of the clouds. The light blue, the blue, and then later on it should be here. But we're flying differently than I now we fly. We always fly, we're not flying north flying to a certain route we find an angle so they're flying straight north to south like I'm like going to fly back from home so you can say the upness with the darkness this is the stars come in and then yeah whatever but anyway getting to the point I had so again I always said um there's one that we talked about this. There might be a little install setup we don't know yet. Uh, me and Doc and Anderson talked about it and Doc both talk about it. But we'll see when the time comes if we were right, if we were right or wrong and how I perceived it. So with that said, let me see here. Um, oh yeah. Well, they don't like it's gonna be SD based cars. Most people know that we talk, and we, we, you know, SD, you have more memory and stuff, and Nintendo's gonna go keep it preparatory to the system, of course. So, cartridge base, there we go, you're confirmed. We'll be happy that everybody saw that. Now, with the, the, the RAM, load time should be smaller, but not that much. It's gonna take a while for other devs to make load time less than Nintendo. Why? Because they, because I just want. When games did it for 3DS and 3 and DS stuff, they built them a PC, so they set up that you're gonna have loads. You're gonna have less load time, but you're gonna have loads. And it's gonna be the same thing too. I think Nintendo would be the only person who, again, exclusive being important, 
today. Go, you see all this right now? It's gonna get dark in a little bit more now. You might see the stars coming in. That's the way the cars are flying. But anyway, um, so that right there, they're gonna be that's where schools come in because they know their software, their, their hardware to make what they need to make. That's what that's where it is. Now, I have to say this. Everybody, uh, with the SD cards, you don't know the benefit. You already know the benefits of it, so it makes no sense to me go over it again. It's pretty cool having the attendance going that route, that route. So that's good. Okay, I'm seeing a price. If I have to give right here, if I have to take a price point it's between three fifty. I'm thinking that's the price point for this first thing. It'll be 400. Not that they're gonna like it, but again, you ask with technology. You're grown ups, you have people who's supposed to be comfortable. It's been on the pain. Um, what else? I'm gonna think that was top of my mind. Oh, yeah. I remember now. Another thing about that is like I have to talk about the third party. So third party, yeah, everybody like I said, I talk about the Skyrim and stuff again. Everybody's, oh man, this would be great. I saw Skyrim, I saw this, I saw that. I gotta give a little bit more. Okay, so anyways, and then they showed you, Nintendo showed you a share, share, share this through you see right now, saying, hey, these are the products gonna help us out. Uh, Where did I where did I see that? Like where did I see something like that? Oh yeah. The Wii U. Right? Switch. This is why I saw it. And what came of that? This is where a lot of the people who's have been go lucky, yeah now are gonna be more. Y'all gonna, gonna be like, oh Nintendo suck again because we can't get third party or we we getting bad games. I buy a Nintendo console for Nintendo games. Third party is irrelevant to me. Those who want it, that's cool. But once again, Nintendo did something again, they innovate. You got a hybrid and you're moving on the side. You don't you move it around. They innovate again. But it's gimmicky. Not a gimmick, it's not a bad word. But let's see if you guys are gonna go with it. Huh? Maybe, maybe not. We'll see how that works. Okay. Now you have the Nintendo 3DS, the Wii U, and the, and the Switch. The 3DS, they're gonna keep on making games for the 3DS. The 3DS cycle is not dead yet. Beyond March, it's gonna keep on going. Um, Beyond March is gonna keep on going. Wii U, there's a need, the Wii U base is gonna be for kids, it's gonna be kid games. Sad because they're trying to, now they're trying to update the demographics, and they're gonna be more a lot of indie games. Yeah. The reason I say the 3DS is gonna keep on going too because the development cost for the 3DS is so cheap that you can make so much money that I don't think a lot of indies, a lot of people are gonna switch to go. You know someplace else so that's what I'm saying in that regard so it's gonna that's a, that's why you call it the third that's why you want to call it the third printer mobile this cheaper 3ds kids adults then you have mobile on there the Wii U kids adults in the way home console if you want to do this but NX is more teenage and adults could, um, switch you could have fun with whatever me personally at this point still getting the Wii U for the still getting Zelda for the Wii U I might get it for the, I might get it for the NX but I'll get it for the Wii U at this point right now NX is not really have the wow with me too much and does not make me think I have to have it 
I need to know more about the games. I need to know about some of the features and see how they're going to do with the Wi-Fi stuff, the internet stuff, and with what you need to do with the buttons. I need to feel in my hands because, like I said, I didn't, I didn't really play with those things. I played with something different. And last thing I could say about that is like. Like I said, I don't think I see it. For me right now, not a, not a day one purchase. I do like the part that's funny that I'm on the, you're on the plane. Now, I didn't walk with me because it's going to be for a weekend. I let my sister, she wants to play the game. But I remember on my vacation, people were like, oh, you playing at the airport. Uh, I will play on the plane too with my Wii U. This is the weird part. The thing that people hate the most it's the Wii U, it's, the, it's basically the end, it's just a little sharper, don't have no dopey looking, and don't have the name with it. You basically get resold this stuff. But again, be wary of, of what people are talking about with the NX, I mean the Switch. Be wary about how it's going to be with the third party games, because I, they didn't, from 66 generation, I never trust third parties. I'll wait to see what they're doing. And everybody's talking about these games. Oh, these games coming back. We'll see. Prove us wrong, third party. That's all it is. I buy a console from Nintendo's console. Your third party is the bonus above it. If I need anything that's whatever I need, I, buy, I use my PC. But we will see how that works out really well so my initial impression is meh ideas to the game um because like i said i had i, I said in that podcast i said that when nintendo bringing their things together which everybody had that kind of idea of they're gonna be they're bringing their part they're gonna make it a game that's the, the mobile they're gonna make a version it's more mobile that's home console and i still think they're gonna do that are there gonna be more games from nintendo in this regard yes are there going to be droughts? Yes. There always is. Cost, every council has to be. It's a preference thing. You know my, not my, my thing about that. So, we're going to see how people play. We're going to see how people enjoy this. I mean, they're a third party. It's about, I'll say this thing will cost about $400. I hate the D-pad. I hate that they took the D-pad out and try to do PlayStation. I hate that thing. The battery life is going to be something. The construction, I need to feel myself. And... The screen at uh, the backwards capability I explained to y'all already because I got to see the, the trailer before everybody else one day before but again I don't spoil stuff for people so it is a switch I wish I had a better name than that to me really but it is different from the Wii U that they can't people can't get confused so with that said I hope you guys enjoy your trailers again I ain't watched no videos that's my true in-depth look into the um, console it looks pretty cool as a design in itself, but again, I'm not, let's say, still not a day one purchase for me. I need to see what the Killer app is. They showed the Mario thing, which we already freaking know that she would give me, she gave me what I said, that the Mario game was going to be on the next home console, so whoopie do. So, yeah, so we'll see, and we'll see what comes out of it. So, right now, is we should we get in close to Come back down, yeah. Go back into Orlando. So, other than that, people, <sighs> peace out. Enjoy gaming. I catch y'all on the flip side. While I gotta go work and make some good ass music. Peace.